in the first service today the book of romans 16 25 for a start romans 16 25 now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of jesus christ the preaching of jesus christ according to the revelation the preaching of jesus christ has to be according to the revelation of the mystery not just preaching of jesus christ there are many people preaching jesus christ and again it's important for you to know that there is another jesus so it's not enough to preach jesus christ that somebody is preaching jesus christ doesn't mean he's preaching the gospel because there is another jesus there is another gospel and there is another spirit brother paul tells us there is another jesus so it's not enough that somebody is saying jesus it's not enough that somebody is mentioning jesus there are footballers called jesus there are there is jesus in the there's jesus in different places so that somebody is saying jesus doesn't mean he's preaching the gospel so that's why brother paul brought a qualifier he says the preaching of jesus christ but it has to be according to the revelation of the mystery it has to be according to the revelation of the mystery otherwise it's not the same jesus we're talking about according to the revelation of the mystery the preaching of jesus christ according to the revelation of the mystery not just the preaching of jesus christ now put your finger in romans 16 25 flip with me to galatians chapter 1 verse 11 but i certify you brethren that the gospel somebody shout the gospel that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man so there are people preaching the gospel after man but brother paul said the one that was preached by me is not after man put up the next verse for i neither received it of man neither was i taught it but the gospel i preached was by the revelation of jesus christ the gospel according to the revelation of the mystery the gospel i preach is by the revelation of jesus christ not head knowledge of jesus christ but revelation not eyewitness account of jesus christ because there is the eyewitness account but by the revelation the eyewitness account is the gospels and we've been dealing with this specific segment of the bible called the four gospels brother paul said the gospel i preach is not after man nobody taught me i got it by revelation what we are preaching to you in this church is not head knowledge it's revelation that's why some things we say go against the norm of religious practice some things we say go against the norm of religious practice because what we are preaching to you here is not after man it's not taught by man but by the revelation of jesus christ then brother paul put a borderline so that nobody will just come out and say i'm preaching my revelation and just create all kinds of nonsense he says by the revelation of jesus christ according to the mystery so this revelation must be within the confines of the mystery the gospel according to the revelation of the mystery not just gospel yeah, not just gospel it's not just preaching it's not preaching for preaching sake it's preaching according to the revelation of jesus christ then this revelation of jesus christ is not that a man closed his eye and jesus appeared to him it's not that a woman died and went to a so-called heaven because we're having a lot of them all over this country and west africa women that are dying and a lot of these things are women women that are dying and going to heaven and coming back 
to tell us what they saw not according to the revelation of a woman that died and went to heaven and came back to tell us what she saw according to the revelation of jesus christ which is according to the mystery the mystery so if a man is preaching jesus but not revelation of the mystery is another jesus if a man is preaching please give me your power city are you here please give me your ears if a man is preaching jesus but not according to the revelation of the mystery he's preaching another jesus and brother paul said though we are an angel from heaven preach any other thing to you than that which you have preached by revelation according to the mystery let him be an anathema let him be a cost let him be an anathema somebody shall revelation and this kind of revelation you don't you don't you don't you don't just learn it anyhow you learn it prayerfully that's why behind the teaching this prayer that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened because it's revelation but this revelation has borderline it's not just anyhow revelation is according to the mystery which has been hid from the ages so there is a mysterion that's the greek word for mystery there is a mysterion that has been hid from the ages what is this mystery that has been hid from the ages that forms the message of the revelation of christ colossians 1 25 i'm going somewhere whereof i made a minister according to the dispensation of god which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of god even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations but now it's made manifest why is it made manifest so it can be preached okay but now it's made manifest to his saints to his saints called ones precious ones set apart ones sanctified ones what is this mystery that our preaching has to be according to next verse to whom god will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery there is a glory about this mystery and it's among the gentiles which is christ in you the revelation of jesus is incomplete without the unveiling of the believer in him the revelation of jesus is incomplete until the believer in him is unveiled the mystery is christ in you christ in you that man will house god the mystery is that god will take up residence in a man the mystery is that god will live in a man that man will house god that's a mystery that's what the ages that's what was healed because even if it was revealed to them they don't have the capacity they couldn't have housed god from the ages none of them could house god the only man that was given the opportunity to house god turned it down his name was adam adam was given choice i said before you life and death choose he went for death he rejected life life is jesus in him was life and the life was the light of men where in the beginning where is the beginning eden adam turned it down and it is called the fall from the fall no man could house christ no man could house god because man is in a fallen state man is in a state of death man died the day you eat of it you shall surely die man died a dead man cannot house immortality so something has to be done about the state of man so god became a man to save man 
that man that came out of god his name is jesus that's why the preaching is according to the revelation of jesus according to the mystery hid from ages what mystery that man will house god or that god will live in a man that the glory of god will be contained in a man so the man jesus died and when he rose from the dead he gave every mortal man the capacity to house immortality who believes in him every mortal man who believes in what christ has done in his death burial and resurrection once you believe the message the capacity to house god comes in it is called the word of faith a resurrection takes place the dead spirit comes to life and from that day man can house immortality which has been the dream of god from the beginning hid from the ages but revealed by the dead the burial and the resurrection of christ if you're following me shout i hear you now 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 so for preaching to be preaching it has to be the revelation of jesus the revelation of jesus according to the mystery that has been hid from ages now remember in the course of our study we saw examples exhortations admonition prophecies types shadows and learnings when you read the epistles you will discover that none of the apostles made reference to the four gospels no apostle made reference to the four gospels why because the four gospels is not the message to the church why because the four gospels is not the message to the church why because all the people that function when jesus walked the face of the earth we are still in a state of death all of them they were still in a state of death including peter including james and john they were all spiritually dead even though they walked with jesus because none of them was born again why nobody could be born again till jesus rose from the dead so even though they were following jesus they were dead the day they got born again was after jesus rose from the dead and that was at the end of the four gospels please follow carefully that's why again the gospel is according to the revelation of the mystery which has been healed and then colossians tells us that mystery christ in you if you're in the house shout i hear you when the epistles were written the four gospels were not included in the scriptures historically because the four gospels were written the same week with the epistles the same period the same period of time matthew mark luke and john they were written at the same period of time so why were the four gospels written what's the reason the essence of the four gospels is to document the humanity of christ to document the humanity of christ you need the four gospels to show you how the prophecies were fulfilled the prophecies of the incarnation prophecies in isaiah 9 in isaiah 7 concerning jesus prophecies of isaiah 61 1 to 3 we need to see it fulfilled now where was isaiah chapter 61 fulfilled it was fulfilled in luke chapter 4 when jesus went to the synagogue as his custom was and he stood up for to read the book of isaiah that was the fulfillment because when he finished reading he said this day is this scripture fulfilled in your eyes so the gospels we are written to record the humanity of christ and as a fulfillment of the prophecies of the incarnation that's why the gospels were written they were written to document the humanity that's why it's only in the gospels you will see jesus wept that establishes he's a man because god doesn't weep he was tired he slept he ate 
okay he was tempted matthew chapter 4 he was tempted he was in a storm god can never be in a storm all those establishes that god became a man first timothy 3 16 great is the mysterion or mystery of godliness that god became a man we are in the four gospels that god became a man in the four gospels so the four gospels establishes facts and details of fulfillment of prophecies of incarnation and the validation of god as a man the authentication of god as a man walking the face of the earth so jesus is god who became a man to save man jesus is god who became a man to save man for god so loved the world what is that love how is it expressed the love is expressed in the sense that god stepped down himself humbled himself compressed himself in a frail mortal body that god compressed himself put himself in a frail mortal body because of the sin of a man who doesn't care about him because of the sin of a man who doesn't care about him yet he cares so much about this man he goes an extra mile to die the death of this man be buried the burial of this man resurrect on behalf of this man ascended for this man sat at the right hand of majesty as a man for this man what law behold what manner of love so the gospels are you still following the gospels were written to record the fulfillment of prophecy concerning the incarnate christ number two to authenticate and validate the fact that god almighty became a man on behalf of man that's the great story of salvation pay attention i'm going somewhere honey you know in matthew 8 16 put it up when the even was come they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirit with his word and heal how many all that were sick why next verse that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by isaiah what was spoken by isaiah surely he was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him by his tribes we are healed so he came in the volume of the books even before dying he began to express the love of god towards man he healed all so the gospels are written number one for the fulfillment of the prophecies concerning the incarnate christ number two to validate the humanity of god in human form number three the gospels were written that men may believe in jesus john 20 31 holy ghost but these are written the gospels are written that you might believe that jesus is the christ keep at hand he didn't say that you may believe jesus christ the gospels are written that you may believe that jesus is the christ not jesus christ there's a difference between jesus christ and jesus as the christ jesus christ is a name jesus is the christ is a description jesus is the christ means these are written that you may believe that jesus is the man who came out of god these are written that you may believe that jesus is the man christ is the name of god's humanity christ 
is the name of god humanity when god became a man his name is christ so this kebato kabaya somebody says why is that important first john 5 1 first john first john whosoever believeth that jesus is the christ not to say ever believe it, Jesus Christ. Whosoever believe it, that Jesus is the man, is born of God. Not whosoever believe it, Jesus Christ, but whosoever has accepted the sacrifice of Christ. How do you follow? When you accept the sacrifice of Christ, you are born of God not when you hear jesus christ uh -uh. when you believe that jesus is the man who came out of god to save man when you accept that you're born of god that's why i say anybody that does not believe that jesus came in the flesh is antichrist once you argue that god came to earth as a man you are antichrist Kebata. Antichrist is an argument about the humanity of Christ. Anybody that argues the humanity of Christ is Antichrist. Antichrist is a teaching that denies the humanity of Christ. Because once you argue the humanity of Christ, you destroy salvation. 1 Corinthians 15.1 moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel which i preach what is this gospel verse 3 for i delivered unto you first of all that which i also received how that christ not jesus christ see brother paul was very 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 articulate and careful in his choice of words there's no confusion in his head when you read the Pauline books you will know that this guy his head was very clear and straight no he, his choice of words were carefully selected how that Christ not how that Jesus how that Christ why Christ God who became a man you see died because God cannot die for God to die genomai must take place what is genomai it's a greek word of god changing location and changing form when god became a man that process is called genomai so when god became a man that man that came out of god is called christ that's why it is christ that died that's why salvation is to believe that jesus is the christ You've got to believe that. You've got to believe that Jesus is the Christ. And there are churches that don't believe that Jesus is the Christ. There are churches like that. Those churches are antichrist. There are other churches, Kabata. Wahala, wahala. Are you ready for wahala? There are other churches that don't believe that Jesus is God. There are churches like that. Any church that does not believe that Jesus is God is Antichrist that a place is called a church doesn't mean God is there it doesn't matter I don't care the, the signboard can, as, can be as big as this building we can have 50,000 people if they don't believe that Jesus is God it's Antichrist because there's no difference between it and other religions that I don't want to waste my time mentioning there are other religions that argue that jesus is not god because god doesn't have a wife how can god have a son without a wife and you cannot say god has a wife it's sacrilege so how can god have a son there are religions like that those religions are antichrist what is antichrist against christ antibiotics anti-inflammatory eh? anti anti-malaria against malaria against biotics against eh, typhoid 
antichrist just like antibiotics the job of antibiotics is to enter the body and fight the enemies antichrist fights christ are we teaching here so any church say holy ghost i receive revelation any church that denies the humanity of god in christ and denies the deity of god in christ is antichrist and if you're in that church get out of that church now ignorance is not an excuse that you didn't know before now you know get out of that place any church any church you go to where they don't believe that jesus is god where they worship jesus like a baby in a manger where they are still treating jesus like tata you know tata you don't know tata tata is speaking in Igbo language it's not tongues i'm not speaking tongues i'm speaking Igbo. no be so tata one takri one takri is tata tata is one takri sometimes you see big big boys answering tata it, is it not funny how can an old man be answering tata tata is a pet name for a little child one takri there's an anointing for Igbo language right now. any church that treats jesus like tata that does not believe that Je that is why kibanagaya you know honey celebrating christmas is actually is actually except it is well celebrated it's an insult to christ how many of you every year you celebrate your birthday they bring your baby picture and your baby everything when you were still a baby in your mother's house and they put it and cut cake for the picture when you celebrate birthday do you celebrate your infancy or your adult age exactly Jesus, as old as he is, you'll be celebrating him as a baby in a manger. For how many years is he new bonking? Glory to the champion of Zion. Glory to he that was and is and is to come. We are not celebrating a baby in a manger. We are celebrating God who became a man on behalf of man. If you're hearing me shout, I hear you. We are not celebrating a baby. We are celebrating a champion. We are celebrating a risen Lord. We are celebrating a Lord whom the grave cannot keep down. That's why on Christmas day, what did I preach here? God beyond eyewitness account. Because we have to go beyond all those little, little babyhood things. We have, we have, we have. Kimanoga. And it takes revelation. It takes revelation. If there's no revelation, you will still be following that baby in a manger. Put eh, 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 eh. what's that thing they used to call where they used to put in the city uh, sculpture sculpture where you see somebody stand like this at the gate of the city they carry the sculpture of Jesus they put then they cut candle for sculpture it's idol worship then they pour incense around the sculpture that is idol worship it's total idol worship that thing is not Jesus all of you that have jesus picture in your house go and burn it this afternoon if not you're an idol worshiper because that picture is not jesus let me tell you archaeology does not have jesus picture ask any archaeologists in the world why jesus denied them the ability to snap his picture why he doesn't want you to know him physically henceforth no we no man so it has to be by revelation to be by revelation. by revelation it has to be by revelation otherwise if it's not revelation it's religion if it's 
not revelation, it's religion. And where did religion come from? It came from Judaism. Christianity is not Judaism. Did you hear what I said? Christianity is not Judaism. Judaism is not Christianity. Many people are in Judaism, they are not in Christ. Judaism is Jewish religion. And Jesus was always against Judaism. They were coming like this. Jesus was going the opposite direction. They never agreed. They had their rituals. They observed days. They observed feasts. And Jesus came and told them, What are you observing days for? Why are you always in time every Saturday when you should be around doing productive things? They said, No, we don't do anything on Sabbath day. We don't even heal the sick. He said, Man, the man is not made for the Sabbath. The Sabbath is made for man. And I am the Lord of the Sabbath. That is, I am Sabbath personified. When you have me, you have Sabbath. Zika to bato beke gebila to manka to noko lubara katina kabada ike bobo boju kata bika. Hey! Say the Sabbath lives in me. Say I house God. Say God lives in me. Say I am the house of God. Let your amen slap ignorance. That is why it's important for you to know Jesus beyond the four gospels. Why? The four gospels were not the message to the church. Fulfillment of prophecy concerning the incarnation, validation, authentication of the incarnate Christ. Number three, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ. That you may believe that Jesus is the man. Jesus is what? You will be misguided when you start looking for the revelation of Jesus in the Gospels. You will be misguided. You cannot find the revelation of Jesus in the Gospels. Because even the Gospels themselves are not a revelation. They are eyewitness account. You can't find revelation in eyewitness account. That's why Paul said, if it is revelation, I was not taught by man. I didn't preach after man. It came by the Holy Ghost from the mystery. What are you talking about? Leave that to you. It came by revelation from the mystery. Again, where is the mystery? Where is the mystery? Talk to me, Power City. Where is the mystery? The scriptures. Where is the scriptures? The Old Testament. Where is the Old Testament? Genesis to Malachi for the purpose of this service. Because in advanced class, in advanced class, the Old Testament is Exodus to Malachi. Precisely Exodus 19. Precisely. But that's for advanced class for general use the old testament is genesis to malachi let there be no argument <laughs> for general use <laughs> hallelujah jesus taught in the four gospels but then we see him saying something against what he taught in the four gospels in john 16 12. i have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now meaning what i really want to say i have not said it and this is referring to the four gospels jesus himself said i have things what i said in the four gospels is limited it's not what i really wanted to say so don't just rely on it to climb and sinker you'll be misguided meaning the four gospels must be interpreted how do you know for example the parable of prayer now first of all the four gospels were all parables all of them all of them were parables all 
For example, the parable of the lost prayer. That's what so many of us use as prayer in the morning, especially those that are not in power city. Our father, two times eleven. Hello, be thy name. Jackie, they come. Jackie. But you know, Jesus never prayed that prayer as his prayer. I hope you know that. Jesus never used that as his prayer. Because we saw him pray and he didn't use those lines. Maybe so. If those lines were prayer, that's what he would have prayed at the tomb of Lazarus. Lazarus, our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver. Lazarus, comfort, deliver us, deliver us. Lazarus, comfort. For thine is the kingdom and thine is the glory, the honor and thy power forever and ever. Jesus never used those lines. He walked to the tomb of Lazarus. He said, Father, thank you that you hear me always. Lazarus! Come forth. Keep on the gabayada. Me na lo 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 lo. Be imitators of God as their children. If he never used them for prayer, it means it was not a prayer. It means he was communicating something that has to be interpreted. Number two, Peter didn't use it for prayer go and read the book of peter you will see the prayers grace and peace be multiplied that was peter's prayer he never did our father which he was one of the disciples paul never used it for prayer everywhere paul prayed i bow my knees unto the father of our lord jesus of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named james never used it john never used it jude never used it no apostle used that prayer so that was not a prayer and the apostles to whom he taught it knew it was not a prayer so how come that today it has become the prayer in many christians lives and churches again that's why you don't follow the parables they must be interpreted let me shock you if that lost prayer is actually a prayer there's many problem with that prayer i hope you know that our father church in heaven hallowed be thy name that one is okay but thy kingdom come thy kingdom come from where jesus told the disciples the kingdom does not come by observation it is inside you that means the kingdom has come jesus said if i by the finger of god cast out demons then the kingdom has come so the kingdom has come that has cancelled that line of prayer that kingdom come that will be done on it what's the will of god christ Christ is the will of God. As it is written in the volume of the books, I am come to do your will, O God. So Jesus is the will of God manifest. So that prayer is over. Eh? Which one is the next one? You know, I don't know it. Give us this day. Our what? Give us our what? Hasn't he given you all things that pertain to life? Is he going to give you what he has given you? Give us this, help me. You are the one praying now. And, for, <laughs> and forgive us. In whom we have redemption. Even. So we are not going to be forgiven. We are already. Next line, next line. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Uh, so we have already been forgiven. That's why we also as believers, we forgive people. Okay, next line lead us not into temptation let no man say when he is tempted i am tempted of god for god cannot be tempted of evil line cancel next deliver us from the evil one deliver us from the evil one who had delivered uh, us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption even the forgiveness according to the riches of his grace kabato kabato somebody shout holy ghost so that prayer is cancelled that is why you don't follow the gospels we have to interpret it for you the gospels must be interpreted 
that was not a prayer it was an outline jesus was trying to communicate truth to the minds of the disciples concerning his assignment because the gospels are written that you may believe that jesus is the son of god so every communication was to make people believe was to bring people to faith we are already in faith so you don't use the book that will bring people to faith for people that are in the faith keep a tope keep a see bible everywhere god punish ignorance nobody prayed it jesus never prayed the apostles never prayed it the holy ghost is has the sole responsibility of revealing jesus that is his full assignment to reveal jesus when he is come he will take that which is mine and he will show it to you that's the job of the holy ghost in john chapter 14 put it up john 14 26 but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance remembrance here is not forces remembrance day Doctor, are you here? Uh, it's not Amphosis Remembrance Day. You know Amphosis Remembrance Day? Eh? You know Amphosis Remembrance Day? Uh -huh. To remember all the soldiers that died in defending the territorial integrity of Nigeria. So a day is set apart to remember the fallen heroes. It's called Amphosis Remembrance Day. Bible, again, is not English language remembrance there he shall bring to your remembrance the word remembrance there in the greek is understanding that's the word remembrance he shall bring to your understanding it's not you are not suffering from memory loss only a man that suffers from memory loss that needs a reminder on even basic things that you should know every normal basic human being should be able to remember basics for example what is your name brown he, he didn't say ah, 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 holy spirit that would be memory loss but he knows his name he didn't think what's your name brown he didn't think basic people that are basically okay will remember their names what is your house address number 14 Ababan street no thinking any house address i have to say ah you don't live there <laughs> it's either you are squatting or you just came to town and you have not mastered the address but even if you just came to town the address of where you're going is supposed to be in your head or otherwise how did you get there what is your phone number? Ah, uh, zero eight zero. Ah, uh, two two. Wait, wait, wait. Zero. No, you have a problem. It's either it's not your phone. You borrowed your uncle's line. Because you should be even this church phone. I know it by heart. I know my my wife's number without thinking. All her numbers. I know them like I know my name. I know my family's numbers. I know it without thinking. So even if you take my phone, I will call my wife. It's not the way I say, ah, they took my phone, I forgot your number. Eh, I know. This ministry's number, I know it by heart. 080-6800-9939. I know it by heart. I don't need to be reminded. There are basic things you should know. So you don't need a remembrance. Are you born again? Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't need remembrance. <laughs> if I say, are you born again? You say, ah, 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 ah. You are not born again. Say, say ah ah no you're not born again so remembrance means you will bring to your understanding honey that's why the bible says this do in remembrance of me is not our first remembrance day what it meant is this do with my understanding that is when you eat bread and drink ribena or tasty time in the old testament when you are eating it and drinking it understand that it is about me understand that that bradina and bread will will manifest one day in physical 
remember that one day you will eat bread and ribena because the real deal will be available have an understanding in case you're wondering why you have not drank ribena since you came here you will never drink it <laughs> except you are doing church party then you can drink ribena and most parties we don't take ribena we take coke fanta sprite maltina eh? wine juice and water any party you can see ribena is a special order <laughs> maybe the person has a medical condition where the doctor said always drink ribena you hear <laughs> kabaya he will bring all things to your understanding to your what yeah do this with the understanding of me in matthew 13 34 let me establish it a little further and all these things spake jesus unto the multitudes in parables and without a parable speak he not unto them so everything jesus spoke in matthew mark luke john are all parables because he never spoke if there was no parable that means every time he spoke it was a parable every time and what is a parable a parable is a dark speech they are dark speeches and jesus always used it look at verse 35 that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying i will open my mouth in parables i will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world i will speak in dark speeches dark speeches parable is a mode of communication that is used to communicate with people that have low iq low understanding that's why i say i have yet many things to say but you cannot bear it so instead of wasting time to talk about big big things let me limit it to bringing you to faith so all of the gospels are parables parables of jesus they are not teachings for the church rather they are parables to bring people to faith why did he speak to them in parables verse 10 of matthew 13 and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables see that look at the answer next verse he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given so anytime honey i want to hide something from somebody i give him parables parables when you stay with old people in the village which i never did but i have an idea i have an idea for those of you that did you will understand now what i'm about to say you will hear an old man will come to you and say young man what an elder will see from the ground when you climb tree you cannot see it he's trying to tell you the things i have been telling you that you think i'm talking nonsense is for your future he's communicating things to you in dark speeches that's why most times when elders speak you have to ask them uncle explain what you said because he's speaking in dark speeches so that's what jesus was doing he was communicating to them in dark speeches why was he doing that was it because he wanted to hide from them what was theirs no no because of their state let's see it let's see it. let's establish it next verse for whosoever hath to him shall be given and him that have more abundant but whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that which he hath it shall be taken away from him even that which he had next verse therefore speak i to them in parables why because they see see not and hearing they hear not neither do they understand next verse in them is fulfilled the prophecy of isaiah which said by hearing you shall hear and shall not understand and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive it's like the little child who sees that in the nursery class and sees this is a goat written on the board and the child is looking but doesn't know what you wrote so now you clean this is a goat you put a goat standing you now say child 
this is a goat so the child looks at the image it registers so after a while the child sees a goat 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 because it's connecting but the child doesn't know this is T H I S I S A G O A T. Mm -mm, child can't take that. That's too advanced for that child's mentality. Jesus couldn't speak certain things because it will blow your mind as at the gospel. So he restricted it to dark speeches. So that when the Holy Spirit comes, that thing he couldn't say, the Holy Ghost now use people like Brother Paul. To say it that's why paul said my writings are according to the revelation of jesus in the mystery that is everything i wrote i just went to the dark speeches with candle light i went to the dark speeches with touch light and i began to look through the dark speeches and i began to select everything jesus wanted to say but you couldn't understand from the dark speeches and i have assembled it together in a segment of the bible called the epistles that's why the epistles are the revelation of the mystery it's like the parable of lazarus and the rich man you know that parable it's not a parable of the church we are not any of those characters i am not lazarus i am not the rich man and i'm not abraham i'm none of them none of them why huh. i'm greater than abraham why jesus lives inside me jesus never lived inside abraham some say but they call abraham father abraham pattern father abraham was a pattern he was used as a pattern to exemplify people that would believe in christ without works so in that operation abraham is the father or the the the, the first partaker of that operation as a pattern it doesn't mean in heaven right now abraham is a father his fatherhood ended when jesus rose from the dead that's why in the pistols nobody is asked to call abraham father we have one father our father in heaven it's just like israel israel were a special people israel were seen as god's people but after jesus died there are no more god's people because the law has condemned everybody under sin jew and gentile their relevance ended when jesus rose from the dead there's nothing special anymore about israel that's why judaism is not christianity neither circumcision which is israel nor uncircumcision which are the gentiles availed anything but the new creation the new creation is not a jew is not a gentile is a brand new man that never existed before if i'm teaching say i hear you so i'm not abraham i'm not lazarus you know honey where abraham and lazarus were actually was in hell it was in hell because they were just in paradise and they were communicating with a rich man in hell if somebody is in hell and you are in paradise and two of you are talking freely two of you are in the same area it's like all of us are in GRA. Eh? <laughs> i know there's a golf now but just golf but they are talking what is golf if i am in hell and you say you are in paradise and i said honey and you say yes honey we're together <laughs> we're together again it's just that the rich man in hell was not hellfire the rich man in hell was in the place of outer darkness where the spirit of dead people without faith in christ goes lazarus was in paradise where the spirit of people who died but they had faith in christ were assembled so both because there was no redemption so both the people in paradise and the people in hell we are in the same location with just a gulf demarcating to say okay these people have believed in jesus these people have not believed that's why when jesus even died he himself went to where the rich man was because he went to hell hell there was no fire it was the outer place of darkness where the dead without christ gather and jesus went there it was from there he destroyed death and came out and gave people life 
Are you with me? So that parable of the rich man and Lazarus and Abraham does is not for us. Because we we don't go to underground. To be absent from the body is to be present with Christ. Boom boom. There's no purgatory or purgery. <laughs> is there English like purgery? Uh, is there English like poetry? But you know what poetry is? What is poetry? Poetry is a state of poetry. <laughs> poetry. <laughs> Pogatry, poetry. You know poetry? You don't know poetry. Where is poetry? <laughs> is it in Nabiokuta or in Ogun State? Where is poetry? Uh, they say purgatory is a, is a reception where they gather saints. Abi? Purgatory. Purgatory. There's nothing like that. You can't find that in the Bible. To be absent from the body is not to be in purgatory, it's to be present with the Lord. Why are you looking at me like I want to go to purgatory? Praise God. What a service. Anybody blessed in this service? Thank you, Lord. So the parables were given to communicate to people in dark speeches because of their state. Because of their state. And that's why in the first service today, we, we took time to deal with a number of things as it concerns generational causes and all that. Fraud. It's nothing like generational causes. It doesn't exist. So don't let anybody keep you in the bondage of, of those kind of things. You're free in Christ. You're a brand new man. You have no past, only a glorious future. Amen. I said amen. Blessed of God. Living in Christ. Where do you live? You're in Christ. If any man be, he's a brand new man. We're in the substance of the shadows. We're in the realities of the types. We're in the manifestations of the prophecies. We are in the fullness of God. Today we have the completeness of God. And everyone that is born of God is born into God's life. Everyone that is born of God is born into a life that cannot be corrupted. The Bible says you are born of an incorruptible seed by the word of God. Meaning you are far from corruption. Brother Peter will say you have escaped from corruption that is in this world through lost. You are secured, complete, covered, preserved, protected, totally kept by the power of God. I thought somebody would shout a powerful amen. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are complete in him. I didn't hear your amen. As you will stand up and your amen will be taller than your neighbor, throughout this year you will live in the completeness of Christ. Yeah. You will live in the completeness of Christ. Kotama Kulada. The whole of this year, you will live in the completeness of Christ. You will manifest the authority of Christ. Somebody shout, I have authority. Say it like you have an authority. Say it louder than that. Now tell your neighbor, I am in authority. Now tell somebody, I take authority. Now tell somebody, I exercise authority. I thought I would hear a powerful amen. I decree and I declare this day by the finished work of Christ whatever does not resemble your identity in Christ that is hanging around you I command it to expire Amen. I, I, I say expire Amen. everything that contradicts what Christ has done I command it to be pulled out of your life in the name of Jesus Amen. I speak grace over you Amen. grace over your family Amen. grace over the work of your hands Amen. grace over your family Amen. in the name of Jesus and throughout the rest of this year your steps are ordered by the lord Amen. your going out is blessed Amen. every business you will do this year is already blessed Amen. your ideas are blessed Amen. your concepts are blessed Amen. your jobs are blessed Amen. your offices are blessed Amen. your marriages are blessed Amen. if you are the blessed one let your amen come like thunder Amen. open your two hands the work of your hands are blessed Amen. 
Agato Bekita Manako Talada. Whatever you put your hands to do this year will prosper. Amen. Your ideas prosper. Amen. Agaba Shotala Namahata Bebero Kotonaga. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree enlargement for you, Amen. expansion for you, Amen. increase for you. Amen. Wherever you enter, if it was not working, the moment you enter as the house of God, it will start working for you. You are graced for grace. It is done. In Jesus' precious name. Can I hear that amen on it?